So you could see Mike already fabricated this core. Before I put this all together, I put some these threaded inserts in. So these just heat up, they kind of melt the plastic around it. I could also thread this, but I like these inserts. They look kind of cool. They look very professional. They're proven to be a lot stronger than just threading the plastic itself. Depending on the application, I'll just thread it. But for this, I'm just putting these in. Part of the reason we're doing a crash bar is that we're removing the stock one. So by doing this, we're basically creating more room for the intercooler. We have some competitors that don't replace the crash bar with anything. In terms of safety and just chassis rigidity, it's not very good to delete stuff like that. So we're re-adding our own crash bar uh, up front, and then it also acts as a good way to actually hang the intercooler off of like a very sturdy place. So. That's next, and then 3D print all the charge pipes. We have one almost done right now. The stock washer fluid reservoir ends up right here and you can kind of see that's exactly where the pipe goes. And in order to keep the geometry and keep these side front impact little bars, we had to move that. So I replaced it with this little contraption here. So it looks just like stock. You can still fill your washer fluid reservoir and we can still fit the pipe in. So everyone wins. This is the cool part. Sweet. How do you, how do you feel about the fitment? Uh, I feel pretty good. I mean, it fits, it bolts to the car. It's half the battle. So what we're testing here is the flow through the intercooler. For this project, we chose two different cores. So in addition to actually testing it on the car, I'm also testing it on the flow bench to kind of see at what flow and horsepower levels what the pressure drop's gonna look like. So we kind of know some of the flow levels beyond our uh, on-car testing, and we can kind of correlate the data to make the best decision and make sure the core is the best for the application. by 
why we do this in very core so that we can see which one fits best. Some applications, you know, when you run really high boost, you can deal with a little bit more pressure drop, but when you know, this car from the factory runs like nine to 12 pounds of boost, you know, if you lose like two of that due to pressure drop, you're really gonna sacrifice on power. And then also for the whole going from a top mount to a front mount, people are also very worried about turbo lag and um, increased spool up time. So by burying the core, we can kind of help make up for that as well. Are you allowed to say the differences between the cores? Um, without going into depth, it's basically the fin specs of the cores, mm -hmm. of the internal fins inside the core. So there's certain parameters you could change to make it more dense, which generally more density increases pressure drop, but increases cooling power. Whereas when it's less dense, you have less pressure drop but also less cooling power because there's less fins, less aluminum, less, you know, turbulation. So we're trying to find that kind of middle ground and just get the best, the best result. not equal that. Oh, this thing like completely just glitched out. Does it, has it ever done that before? No. These pieces are so small, I can't even hold on to them. Really? Yeah, look at this thing. <laughs> it's so small, I can't even measure it. Oh my gosh. He's not even done yet, he still wants to put it on. <laughs> He's excited. <laughs> There's Mitch. <laughs>